guys, welcome to day ah, seven, <laughs> I believe it is. Um, we are getting back into some strength training. I will be able to do some of it with you, most of it with you. Um, I will be using extremely low weights. You may go heavier. Um, first round, we have just a simple lunge back. Second round, we're going into tricep kickbacks. And then we're gonna do one alternating lunge with the kickback. Round two, we have a side lunge. You can use one or two weights. Then we have a weighted torso twist. Then we're gonna put them both together. We'll do 30 seconds on each side, switch. Then we're coming down to the floor and we've got Russian twists. I may or may not use weight, we'll see how it goes. Bridge marches and a reverse plank. I should be able to do that with you as well. So if you're ready, grab a couple weights. I'm using fives, but by all means, this is timed. Use what you like. The idea is just to get hot and sweaty. All right, 30 seconds, lunge back. All we're doing is lunging back. Your head, neck, and shoulders should all be in alignment. You can either take a long stretch back and actually stretch out that hip flexor as well, or you can take a slightly shallow one and work more on that quad strength. Either way, it's up to you. We have three more seconds. Last one right here, bend over 45 degrees or more, and just press back. You guys know how to do a kickback, so do it. <laughs> I'm gonna do a few. I don't wanna turn and look too much at the camera. We're gonna go back to that lunge, but we have 10 more seconds here. We will put it all together at the end, because you know me, I wanna make sure you get nice and warmed up. And here we go, straight back to that lunge. I do want the lunge back and not a forward lunge. That is to put us in the correct position for that tricep kickback. So don't worry, I have forward lunges coming as well. Just keep your head, shoulders, neck up in alignment. We've got five more seconds. We'll go back to that kickback. And then we're gonna put it all together. Here we go. 45, sec 45 degrees or more. If you'd like to come over, you can. I am not doing that. I'm already frustrated as it is. I'm gonna stay right here and just, I'm allowing my head to kind of relax a bit. You all, I would prefer you to keep your neck in line. That will be it for me. Continue to go. You have about five more seconds. I am not pushing the envelope. I wanna get back in the game. Here we go, step back, extend. Step back, extend. So from the side, here's what we're doing. We're putting ourselves in that 45 degrees. You can even come down if you like. And we're here for a whole minute. It's going to seem like an eternity, okay? <laughs> but keep going. Step back. You can even do some of these long lunges and then a couple short lunges. Whatever you would like is your workout. It just is the difference between stretching a little bit through that muscle and putting that down, as well as full time under tension. We have eight, seven, six, almost there, five, four, three, two, one, good job. Take a quick breath. If you need a quick drink of water, you can get it. Heart rate should be up. We use a lot of muscles, a lot of joints. Heart rate should be up. Take one or two weights. All we have is a side to side lunge. That's it. Then we're gonna put down one weight and do that torso twist. We have that twice. And then we're gonna do 30 seconds putting it all together. And here we go. So one or two weights, your choice. Step and just side lunge. You're framing that leg with the weights, okay? Again, I'm going really light because believe it or not, I've learned the neck <laughs> doesn't take much. <gasps> the neck is uh, interesting. 
You don't ever think about how much it does for you until you can't use it. All right, put one weight down and just 30 seconds from side to side. You can hold the weight either way you like. I usually, I don't know why, I tend to feel it more if I hold the sides of the dumbbell rather than if I hold it this way. I don't know if that's just me. Maybe that's something you can comment after. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and grab that other weight if you like. And here we go. Side to side. Now remember, it's not about how big you step out. It's about pushing your butt back and pressing through the bent heel. We're working on glutes, quads, core strength, inner and outer thighs. We got five seconds here. We'll take it back to here we go, let's just finish off that one side. Drop the weight, bring it up. One. Always stop in the center. This is not a fast movement. I want you to control with your abs. Getting a nice stretch in that hip flexor, but also keeping the weight up. So we're working the back, we're working the shoulders. Heart rate should be elevated still. And one more, good job. One weight now, just here. Here, up, twist, come back. Here, up, twist, come back. We're gonna do this for 14 more seconds and then we will switch sides. I thought this would be easier to do one side at a time or I should say simpler, not easier. And let's go to the other side, here we go. Step out, in, turn, step in. Out, kind of lifting, turn, step in. So sit, up, twist, and back. Sit, up, twist, and back. We have about five more seconds. Isn't it crazy how fast this 10 minutes goes? And beautiful, all right. Coming on down for round three. Once again, Murphy's made me a lovely puddle. I have a five pound weight, I'm probably gonna end up having to drop it, but you go with what you feel. We have 30 seconds, Russian twists. Then we lay down and we march, and then we come straight up to that reverse plank. If you can take the legs out straight, great. If you need to bend them, that's fine too, but really reach to push your abs and glutes up. Here we go, setting it up. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Pressing play. All right, grab your weight. Here we go, just 30 seconds. Now, you can lift up if you like, but if you, I'm not doing that. <laughs> if you choose to do so, go slow. I want you to feel the movement. This is not fast. Just back and forth. I'm dropping my weight. You guys keep going if you like. Focusing on the abs. We're gonna lay down in three, two, one. Lay back and march. One leg at a time. We will come back to this uh, with loops, but if you'd like to, by all means, you can put that weight on your hips if you like. We got 10 more seconds. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the abs as you pull in that knee and bring it up. <sighs> Reverse plank. Now, keep your head in line. Your hands can be forward, side, whichever way you can. The idea is to push that butt up. Really push those hips towards the ceiling. Abs are tight, you're gonna get a nice stretch. I'm coming down because it is working in that neck. Four, three, two, bring it right back down. Here we go. Russian twist. Just back and forth. Remember, we're leaning back about 45 degrees. 
We're just tapping, tapping control, control. Feel that twist, feel the abs move. I'm not even using weight and I can feel each contraction as we go. Of course, it could be that I haven't worked out in a long time <laughs> other than these little guys. All right, leaning back and march and march. Press through the heel, press with your glute, contract the abs, belly button all the way to the spine. So what is the difference with this? We're not painting and peeling. We are pushing straight up. So we have five more seconds. Four, three, two, last one. Bring it up. Last time, now remember you can hold here. If you need to, just really push the butt and really try to get that belly button up, okay? Otherwise, go for the long haul, especially if you can do an extended uh, prong plank, okay? Try this. Okay, I'm coming down. We got four, three, two, and you are done. Well, well done, guys. I will keep these at it. If there was something hard in here or you would like to see changed, add below, let me know. Talk to you guys later and see you tomorrow. Bye.